All right, in this video, we will be looking at uh, the 2015 AP Stats free response question number four. Um, and as you can see, this is the inference question. I'm going to skip over the reading, assuming that you have, and get on down to the question. The data provide convincing statistical evidence that the low dose aspirin would reduce the chance of developing colon cancer. All right, we're going to use our inference toolbox. That is our state plan do conclude outline. State. In the state, we're going to state our hypotheses, our um, alpha significance level, and define our variables. All right, so our um, null hypothesis, our assumption, are the two proportions are gonna be equal. That is the proportion of um, people who take a placebo will have the same incidence of cancer as the proportion of people who take low dose of aspirin, okay? And our um, alternative hypothesis, we're expecting the low dose aspirin to decrease the um, rate of cancer. So we hope that the proportion of placebo will be greater than the um, proportion of low dose aspirin. All right. Our alpha, our stated alpha is um, 0 0.05 and this P is going to be the proportion of people who contract or develop colon cancer. Okay, that is our statement. Now plan, in plan we check conditions. All right, um, this is a, a two sample proportion. And um, all of our proportion tests are Z-tests. Okay. So, um, we want to know that it was random. In this case, it's an experiment, so we want random assignment, and it does state that. It says a thousand adult volunteers were randomly assigned, so volunteers randomly assigned. It's not a random sample, you know, we when we're doing an experiment, we often can't go out there and sample randomly. We have to choose who comes to us, but we can randomly assign them to their treatments. Okay. Number two, um, normal. Well, our normal condition um, verifies that the sample size are big enough. That is, we need um, N times our um, P hat for our placebo and n times the complement of that, one minus p hat for our placebo, and um, n times our um, p hat for our low dose, and n times the complement of that. We need all of these factors to be greater than or equal to 10. Okay, and as it happens, most of them are much, much larger. The smallest that we have is this. Okay, N times um, our, this is the number of successes in our low dose aspirin, success in this case being contracted colon cancer, but they didn't consider it a success. 15, this is 15 and that is greater than 10. And this is the smallest, so we're good smallest product. All right, 
So check, check. We're we're good to go. Okay, we could look at the independent condition, but we're for the context for the purpose of this problem, we're going to skip that. State plan now do. Um, for our due, we're going to turn the heavy lifting over to our calculator. We will look to report our test statistic, which in this case is a Z, and our p-value. Um, degrees of freedom will not be a factor since we're dealing with um, proportion here and not a mean. Okay, going into our calculator. Stat tests. Two proportion Z test. X1 is our number of successes. That is, in our placebo group, how many contracted colon cancer? N1, 500. That's half of our total um, group of 1,000. X2, our number of successes in our low dose aspirin group, and likewise, 500 here. All right, um, we said greater than. And again, um, you could have just as easily um, flipped these and um, made lotus aspirin on the left-hand side, in which case you would have had a less than. The only difference would be the sign of your test statistic. Um, our test stat is approximately 1.75, and our p-value is approximately 0.04. Test at 1.75, p-value 0 0.04. Now we are ready for our conclusion. State plan do then conclude. There are three parts to our conclusion. We we'll call them the three C's. Compare conclude context. We will compare our p-value to our alpha. Since our p-value is less than alpha, that is 0 0.04, is less than 0 0.05. That's the comparison. Now conclude we reject H naught. We have substantial evidence, statistically significant evidence, at the 0 0.05 level. Now, context. We're going to state HA in context. The data suggests the data suggests low-dose aspirin reduces rates of colon cancer. All right, and that concludes problem number four.